In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps in his secret little cave. Shh, you don't have a clue, do you? This isn't secret at all. Everybody's watching you. Hi there and welcome to Planet Zoo. So we're nearing the end of the beta. It's been a blast, but I guess all good things must come to an end. One thing I wanted to finish off before the game is ripped out of my hands for a month is the lion enclosure. The lion habitat is the only enclosure I've really heavily detailed over the beta. Everything else is, well, a little bit pants. I, I had good intentions to do more, but I got distracted holding the Animal Olympics. Which, if you haven't watched that, I seriously recommend checking that one out. That is my best work. Anyway, so Lion Habitat. There's a couple of nice features here. First up, I have this education area at the front. My thinking on this was to have a seating area like right in front of the window where zookeepers could give talks and demonstrations at, say, set feeding times. I used the in-game wooden gazebo for this, adding the glass and side panels. This also has us some seating and the stage area. I also made this custom sign which might display feeding times or say little did you know facts about the lions. So onto the habitat itself. The inside of the habitat is pretty standard. You're limited on how habitats are set up because you have to keep the environment comfortable for the animals. So that puts a lot of restrictions on how it looks, what kind of flora and fauna you can have in there and how much of it there is. So this is all pretty standard. Where I've upped the interest is this hard shelter I've made at the back. I made this cave that wraps around the barrier, making a nice private area for the lions. Or is it? See, the one-way glass here means the lions think that this is their secret little hidey hole. But if we skip over the wall here, see, this leads into a little enclosed area for the guests to view directly into the lion cave. The lions don't have a clue about this. They go about their sleeping and scratching post business as normal, completely unaware there may be guests gawping at them from behind the glass. So that's pretty neat. Now, to make this covered section, I placed an overlook walkway above, smartening up the stairs with the wood decor. This leads out into the overlook so you can get a panoramic view of the enclosure. I've protected this with some pretty serious fencing, so the little kids might not get a great view, but at least everyone's safe from falling into the enclosure. Behind here, I've made use of these ridiculously pretty glass panels to form the roof. I am completely in love with the new glass panels added to the game. Unfortunately, this isn't exactly functional. I'd really love it if they could add a feature that made like the invisible habitat barrier. If they could do that to add an invisible path, that would be great. It'd be nice to get some tables and chairs in here so it looked a bit more realistic. I started working on this food court area at the back here, but I just ran out of time. Obviously, when the game launches next month, I'll rebuild all of this in a proper park. So anyway, I hope you like my lion enclosure. Let me know what you think in the comments. Until next time, bye for now.